showing above normal temperatures, a very good bet, especially over the northern plains here where we live from the 25th through the 20, the 15th, I should say, through the 21st of December. I guess I got Christmas on the mind, but then uh, as far as precip is concerned, normal to drier than normal around the area, Brian. Thank you, Phil. Okay. Still ahead here on Fox Sioux Falls, the Freedom Works Here campaign focuses on getting people to move to South Dakota and work. Well, tonight we'll meet one man who took that offer and what he thinks of it now. While driving down any busy street in our state, you will likely see several signs advertising that a number of companies are hiring. Well, tonight Beth Warden introduces us to a new resident, and he tells us how the Freedom Works Here campaign influenced his move and what he now thinks of his new home and career. A few months ago, Jeremy Carlson, living in Idaho, was looking for a new career. I was actually in a house installing a security system when my mom was messaging me this. His mom told him of the governor's campaign enticing people to move to South Dakota. Christy Nome was doing this, her job campaign, Freedom Works Here. And I was like, this is actually a really good idea. And so I signed up and then I waited a little bit. And then I, during that same time, I was looking on other jobs around South Dakota. Then he looked at a map. I wanted something a little bit bigger and things to do. I like going out and just venturing out. And Sioux Falls was that town that I, I just, my eyes gravitated to. Although the Freedom Works Here campaign helped, he found a car wash construction job on his own. I applied on Saturday, had, had someone reach out to me the following Monday, and I had my interview Tuesday, was hired on Wednesday. And he has no regrets. You know, just the people out here, they're like, welcome, um, super respectful, friendly. Those with concerns question the possible political stunting of the governor, starring in the campaign. The governor's Office of Economic Development also requests better tracking to understand the return on the $6.5 million investment. Stu Whitney with South Dakota News Watch says results could have been better if the state coordinated with those hiring. They were sort of dumped uh, thousands of names and email addresses in their lap, so to speak, and said, have at it. And then I think they're, they're contending, okay, the work begins now, so what about more filtration that could have been done on the, on the front end? Of the approximate 2,000 prospects who signed up with Freedom Works here, some complain they are spammed for jobs that don't match their interests. But Carlson is one of the success stories. He's telling friends to consider a move to South Dakota. I'm so grateful for it, and I would want it the same happen to others. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now. And weather every five minutes on Dakota News Now. It's not often on the 7th of December when there's stuff on the radar that sits in the